Hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, today I got the master back on the bench. Uh, I'm uh, going to uh, have a close look at the battery uh, connector and see how the batteries are wired together. So there are four packs of batteries. So if one pack was to be disconnected, what would the voltage be? Or if two packs are disconnected, what would the voltage be? Or even three packs has been disconnected. So I like to know each pack of power to see how it behave when uh, any pack batteries are failed. So let's have a look. It's on the bench. So here we are. We've got the master here. So what I've done is um, at the moment, uh, this is the power to the control board and that's been disconnected. So I've got the four battery plugged into the, uh, the battery connector management. And the charging socket so i'm measuring the voltage on there at the moment is giving me 128.87 okay obviously it's been written and the battery's gone down so that's what i'm reading at the moment so let's see what happens if we disconnect one of the pack okay so this is the battery pack here so let's take that out and let's disconnect one of the pack Let's start with this top right corner. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to measure the voltage on the pack itself to see what the voltage is. So let's put that in there. So I'm measuring one of the battery packs to see what the voltage is. Hmm, okay. Interesting. So the battery pack is 32 volt or 33 volt. So, with the one the battery pack is removed, what is the voltage now? Oh, it reads zero volt. So it looks like this is a new configuration of the battery connection. The battery seems to be connected in series. So 33, 33, 33. So three, four packed together will give you 134. And if any one of the pack fail, you get zero voltage. So that is not that great. Uh, okay. So I'll plug this one back in and let's remove this one here. Uh, on the top here. And let's measure that output again. No voltage. Ah, uh, okay. So that is not very good actually. So there's no backup pack or anything like that. So if any battery pack fail, then the wheel will have no power whatsoever. Uh, not like the early XN where there is a free pack of battery. So if one of the packs is disconnected, it will still work. Even if two packs are disconnected, this will still work because each pack is 100 volt. And here, we've got four packs and each pack is 33 volt. Okay, so the, basically there's no backup. There's no backup power on the master. Okay, so the uh, all the batteries are all wired back in and the wheel turns back on. So what does it actually mean? I mean, does it... Does it mean anything to, to someone who rides the wheel or, or you know? Well, I mean, uh, the wheel rides fine, 
uh, provided all the battery packs are working. Um, I know the battery packs are 33 volt, so it's uh, less power in the battery pack. It's probably more reliable because being uh, lower power. Um, but you've got four battery, you rely on four battery. So if any other bat of the battery fail, then the wheel will stop working. So because they're all wired uh, in series all together. And as I say, this uh, charging port and there behind it, there's a circuit which manages the battery. Uh, so it's all like adds up all the batteries and then it gives you the 133 volts or 34 volt to the control board. So the control board requires that kind of power to run. So if one of the packs are disconnected, there will be no power going to the control board. So there is no redundancy, in other words, there's no redundancy power to the wheel. So it's a nice fast wheel, but you've got more chance of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, I mean, no one wants to come to this conclusion is that if any battery pack fail, then the wheel will drop because there's no redundancy. Uh, not like the, uh, the EXN or the Hero. Uh, which the pack, each pack actually is the true power. EXN has three pack of 100 volt. So if you disconnect two pack, that single pack will still work. So the redundancies are there. So there's two extra redundancy. So even two pack fail and they still work. But with the master, there's no redundancy. So the whole wheel runs on one pack. So... If the pack fell, the wheel will fail. Okay, guys, so I don't know if this is uh, how they want to do it. To me, it's gone backward. Yeah? Uh, I mean, going backward. So like the uh, 9 bot, you should be just one pack of battery here. This is just one pack. If the pack goes, the wheel drops. If there's not enough power, the wheel drops. So here, if there's not enough power, they will drop because there's only one pack. So if you ride high speed and the low voltage, it will drop. So that is by experience. So so the master, as long as it's got full power, it's a lovely fast machine. But it's got low power, then I would advise not to ride too fast. Okay, because uh, the wheel runs on power. If there's no power, the wheel will stop. So that's my uh, conclusion on the master. It's a lovely machine, but I don't know why they do it that way. Maybe it's because uh, having a 33 volt pack, um, you get less chance of catching fire or maybe, maybe not, but you got, you know, less power coming out of the uh, battery pack being 33 volt. So 33, 33, 33 and 33, 133 volt coming out of there. Or connected joint together, add it together, 133 volt. So this is my conclusion with the master. So I'm, I mean, it's a fantastic wheel, but I'm just worried about the power redundancy. There's no redundancy whatsoever. Now, after the, taking a look at the uh, battery uh, configurations, or the way it's been wired up. Uh, to my conclusion, is uh, the wirings is is different to uh, what the wheel they've been uh, released for the past few years. Uh, I mean, to get an understanding um, what the wheels are like before, how they are wired. Let's look at the drawing I'm going to draw out, and uh, and uh, so you can understand. Uh, how it works and uh, the conclusion will be your conclusion to see what you think about the master's new wiring configurations okay so let's look at the uh, the wiring on the uh, wheels now in the uh, old day we got the 9 bot one okay this is the motor and as you come along here and this is the battery pack Okay, on the old wheel, there's always just a one battery, just like our torch. So there's one battery pack and the motor. 
and if anything happened to the one of the cell or battery okay the wheel cuts off because it's uh, it can't sustain the motor so the wheel just cuts out and that's it nowadays the uh the, the more high performance wheel and fast wheel uh this is the motor and this is the battery there's one and they all wired in parallel so you've got two and for the EXN, we've got three. Okay, so like the uh, uh, Monster or RS uh, and EXN, this EXN, this is how it uh, wired up. So you got a, uh, well, in the old day, they're 48 volt. The batteries are quite low voltage, 48 volt. So there's, there's no chance of catching fire at all, okay? Because <laughs> they're, they're so low voltage. Nowadays, it's a uh, true 100 volt. Okay, so 100 volt and 100 volt. So therefore, you got three packs of uh, pack battery. So for example, if this 100 volt is 10 miles, and then you add another one, it gives you 20 miles. And then you add another one, it gives you 30 miles. And if one of the battery fell, you still got two pack and the wheel still go. And the second one goes, you still got one pack. And the wheel still go. Until this one actually cuts out, then obviously, if the third pack fell, then the motor will go. So it's very unlikely that three pack will go in at the same time. So this is what we call a redundancy battery. So again, you add more pack, it gives you more more distance. Okay, and and there's a redundancy. But now the master is different. The way they've done it now is totally different. So there's the motor, and this is how the master is wired up. So you got the battery, and then you got second battery, you got third battery, and a fourth battery. Okay, so that's how the master is wired up. So uh, now this is in series. So you got thirty three volt, thirty three volt, thirty three volt, and thirty three volt. So which gives you one hundred thirty two, but in realistically, it's thirty three point something something which give you 34 volt, uh, which is it's supposed to be. So as you see here, um, the batteries are very low voltage. It's even lower than the first generation wheel, which is 48 volt, the pack. So therefore the safety is there. I mean, you won't be able to catch fire or, 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 or extreme fire explosion because of the very low voltage. So this is where the safety is of the battery. It's a low voltage battery and but when you add it all together, it becomes 132 volt, okay? All four pack joined together. Now, 132 volt or 34 volt is serious power, okay? And uh, therefore, the wheel can go fast at high speed. Now, what I'm concerning is if any pack are damaged or any problem with the cable, the wheel will drop because there is no redundancy. So, uh, on one hand, the batteries are safer, you will have less chance of catching fire. On the other hand, if you're riding at high speed, if anything wrong with the battery, you've got no redundancy. Okay, so this is something that uh, beware with buyers or, or rider or, or who rides at high speed. You have to beware and you've got to know what you're riding. And... As I have spoken to Bigoldi, and according to Bigoldi, is uh, the reason why they're doing this is because uh, it's, it's, it's easier to manage, manageable. So what they mean by easy to manage is, it, or what they mean is like a 33 volt battery, okay, it's easy to manage. So in terms of electronics and control board and power controlling, it's much easier to control and manage on an electronic level, okay? And this is what it means. And also, when you're on, you've got a low voltage battery, it's easier to manage and it's less chance of catching fire and more safety. So, in terms of uh, an engineer working on a battery with 33 volt, it's more safer than working on a battery which is 122 volt. <laughs> So with this, any short circuit, the battery will explode and catch fire. But with this, you won't be able to catch fire because it's a low voltage. 
okay? So this is where the, uh, the rider has to consider. And on the firmware, according to Bigoldi, if you ride this master, the wheel, and if the battery goes down to 40% and below, okay? When it goes below 40%, there's a program with firmware that kicks in that will restrict you from going too fast. And if that don't work, then the rider has to know if their batteries are below 40%, please do not ride quick, okay, or fast. Ride at a slower speed, okay, to be on a safe side. So you've been warned. So this is a warning of uh, any, on the master, below 40%, please slow down. Do not go at this high speed because the wheel, the battery will not be able to sustain you. There's no secondary redundancy backup. And with this, the redundancy, if the wheel start to drop, you will feel a little kick and then you can recover. But with this, I guarantee you, you will not feel that kick, okay? If you overdo it, it's just a drop straight down. There's no kick to warn you that you can recover. So beware guys. So uh, if you're going for the master, please be aware of the uh, what the wheel can do. So I hope this will help you guys out. And uh, the true over 100 volt uh, wheel will be the S22, okay? And S22 is this, the S22. This is the motor and this is the battery on the S22. And it's a true 124 volt battery. Okay, so that is why this uh, uh, the S twenty blew up because of this. Uh, the motor wasn't controlled properly. The, the The electronic wasn't managing the electronics, wasn't managing the battery properly, because it's harder to manage, and uh, the electronic has to be precision. So the firmware and programming has to be precisions. So if that is not precisions, any delay on the electronics that controls the battery. This is where the problem is. That's why it caught fire in the first place. So you saw that the video where the S20 caught fire because uh, the electronic did not, the firmware, the programming wasn't act quick enough, wasn't precise to react to the electronics to shut down the power. So therefore that will cause the battery to short and explode. So the management on the 124 volt is very, very dangerous. So uh, it has to be precise. Uh, so yeah, then again, uh, it's high voltage for riding redundancy. It's a lot safer. So when you ride at high speed, you, you know that you've got a redundancy power to uh, to sustain your, your riding. So riding side, it's, it's, on the riding side is safe, but on the managing battery side, it's uh, then Bigodi and King Songs are different. And King Song at the moment is they are working very, very hard to uh, to change all the software configuration on their S22, which I already have a list of what they have done, but I will update that later on. Uh, there's a lot of improvement on the S22. So uh, yeah, now for you guys out there uh, who want the wheel for summer, so you have to decide uh, what you want to do, uh, as I say, the Master is a great choice and the S22 is still is a great choice. So it just really is the rider's preferences. Okay, I hope this video helped for uh, for anyone uh, who wants to know about the, uh, the configurations on the new wheels.